Just uh, making some pens here and all. What? Well, how's she going today, guys? Oh, not so bad, I guess. So today, actually I was holding canola in there pretty good, the old tuck tape, but we finally, I think I got the new part. So what we're going to do is uh, swap this pan out here. We can save that pan for whatever, something, I guess. But for right now, oh, come on. I can't get that out of there. The old safety latch. Anyway, whatever. That's all right. I won't worry about the safety before. After. Nice. Anyway, I got to take it out there and uh, get this one set. And then Ashley can run this one. And I'll show you when I stop, when I if I have to set the sieves or whatever I gotta do. Um, I'll show you the uh, uh, levers outside, how to set the sieve on the on the bottom. There's a, there's an aftermarket kit you can buy from Case, and this one had this one had two levers on actually, one for the top, and one for the bottom. But the one on the top would seem to always catch straw. And shit on me and then it would back up into the top of the sieve overload my top sieve and then I would uh, start throwing grain over the over on the chaffer so anyway I guess I'll see you when I get over there hey boys so I got a few pods in there like this chaffy shit but it's so freaking hot today I think I might just leave some in there because I don't want to put too much in. So, let's just close the bottom sim a little wee bit. There. Try that. See if that cleans our sample up. I'm going to go and look and see if I got any canola on the ground. And uh, we'll just keep setting it till I get happy with it and then uh, good enough. So, anyway, see you in a few. There we go. Got that one set pretty decent now. How I uh, how I kind of want it. And this one here, this was the first bit that we did our test on the other day. So I'm gonna go up to this little dip up here and bring this one back and uh, see how we are there. Then I'll have to go and get the semi. So stay tuned, I guess and. Uh, I think the old man should be out around 2 o'clock-ish, somewhere in there. Ashley's having a bite to eat, and then her and the kids will come out and run the other one. And I'll give it a final tweak here uh, once we get going and I take a load in. I'll see what the dockage in that is. I try to keep it under 3%. Unless there's wild oats, that's really not much you can do about that. But there wasn't much in this uh, swath here. So Anyway, guys. Let's get her fired up here and get her going. So rotor speed, I usually run about 650. Or 660. <laughs> 680. Let's go to 700 on the fan. This one's got that airfoil sit, so. Anyway, let's go and uh, run some through here. Boys. I need a little camera holder right there. That would be nice. Not much left coming out of 
out of the back of this shit. video in here for a little minute and then I want to check the uh gotta check my sample and stuff here so I will uh see you in a bit here guys I don't know if you can see that or not so freaking up and down in here it's crazy anyway see you in a few whoops Whoops. Finally, you fucking piece of shit. Fuck, I hate that airfoil suit. What a piece of goddamn garbage. So what I had to do, boys, if you're having trouble with it, and you got a case on my, that stupid ass airfoil sieve on the fucking top, you gotta run about 880, 890 on your fan empty. That way you can try to keep all that chaff and shit uh, on top and the grain goes through the bottom instead. So, I don't know, if I, and I'm not feeding it too heavy either. I'm only bringing the combine down like 20 RPMs on the rotor, well, sometimes 30 I guess, but not feeding her too hard, so I guess that's, that's maybe the ticket, I don't know. I'm going to run this fucking sip for one more year and if I don't like it, that's it, I'm going to get a different one. I should have bought one yesterday when I was at the uh, wrecker there. I pulled the top one out of 2388, but whatever. Anyway, neither here nor there, so I just don't like that some bitch because you can't. You always let way too much chaff in through through the bigger holes. All that crap falls down, and then you overload your bottom sieve, and then your grain goes over the back and gets ever retrashed, and it just continues the cycle and. Next thing you know, you end up end up with a fan full of chaff. So anyway, that's that, boys. So uh, I guess the old man can run this one now, and uh, we'll see how things go. But Ashley and the kids are in there. See if we can get a wave on her this time. Oh yeah, nice wave it to ya. There she is, giving her shit and her old girl. Anyway, look at that, boys. That's way better. I'm happy with that, so. Now I just gotta check if we got any loss. But anyways, look at that nice swath. Isn't that nice? This is a uh, bigger pickup, too, on this one. My other one's only a 14. This one is maybe a 16. I don't know, something. But anyway, guys, I gotta go here. Gotta go, boys, gotta go. Here, right, boys, let's give her a quick check here. The only way you can do this is with a unhook your seat switch. That should be good. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Woo. But dusty, that's for sure. Anyway, there we go. She's good now. I went out and tweaked her a little bit more. I think I had a little bit too clean. I don't mind a bit of pods in her. That light chaffy shit, that don't weigh up to nothing. So, anyway. I got a few wild oats in here. That's probably what I seen that was a little chaffier, but that's okay. That just brings the weight up of her when you're going to town. When you get to the elevator, they take that weight off on you. So, anyway, guys. Hammer down. Hammer down. <laughs> Somebody was trying to take my swath. <coughs> oh, fucking dust. <coughs> oh, man. Oh well, that's all right, Ash. I'll forgive you. Oh, now you went over too many. You gotta take the second one over, or the third one. Okay, there she comes. No, oh, baby, slow her down, baby. This old girl just wants to eat, you know. Even if I had a piece of tape right here, that would be sweet. It's like 
that. That would be nice. Oh well. Kinda nice to be home on and something again here. We had about two days off and then had to go spray the wheat and it wasn't ready and then the canola wasn't quite ready. And then I noticed a bunch of breakdowns and stuff, so that's okay. Oh well. What do you do? Anyway, see you in a bit. Fuck I like this canola, it even gives you pliers. Where the fuck did these come from now? Oh well, they're even vice grip. Nice. Ladies, yeah. Ladies, yeah. Get them on TikTok, ladies, yeah. <laughs> Fucking dart even. Oh, he's got a dart. <laughs> oh, hey, uh. Uh. I just remembered I owe fucking Rick Bork a shout out. Go check out Rick Bork. The Rick Bork channel. Here I am up on a ladder on the frickin' bin. But whatever. I just thought of that right now and I have my phone. I thought, shit. I owe my shout out. So go check them out, guys. Rick Bork. Rick. Kind of like pork, but with a B. Old Porky Borkster. Go check them out. If you like what you see. If you don't like what you see, then don't subscribe. I don't give a shit. Can't say I didn't try, Rick. He does Wednesday Night Lives, which I haven't been able to get to in the last while. But anyways. Black gold, boys. Black gold. Black gold. Just kidding. Ain't worth fuck all. And it's not really black. This is a uh, decal variety. That's why it's that goofy color. Decal always has that goofy look. Kind of uh, looks like those Halloween pumpkins or whatever the hell you call them. Gorge! Kind of like those gorge! <laughs> oh, dang nabbit, anyways. Well, I'll get this dumped and head her back out there. So, see you in a bit, guys. See you in a bit. Damn right, boys, the old Chef Y. Just hauling some canola. Oh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, sounds about right. Let's see if we can twin stick this bitch. I gotta hold you up here so I can shift her. What am I in here, boys? There we go. Fucking pinner the winner. You got a fucking truck here, they come in like vultures. Oh well, that's a good thing. See you in a few. Well, that's too, not too bad a turnaround time for the old girl. Make her back. I love the tandem full already. I think they already got the semi full too, the fuckers. I guess that's a good thing, but I'll have to head her back there and uh, I think dad wants to go home, so I think what we'll do is we'll just fill the trucks, fill the combine and good enough for tonight. Because really all I got ready is going to be this quarter of canola and then we're going to uh, probably switch back to wheat again, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, seeing a few guys, seeing a few. Listen to the 8 3 hum.
Turn your TVs up. Turn your phones up. Turn up your volume on your computers. There's Karch over there. There's Dad over there. I can tell it's him because he don't have his back lights on. So anyway, we're going to take old Arthur here and uh, go get a load. I know Carter put dump on here already. I don't, maybe it's full already. Let's have a quick peek. You know, everything I got is fucking antique, eh? That's kind of nice. There. Let's see. Hold oh, one box here. Holy fuck, Karch. Put a good little dent in her. And the old man dumped on the... Dumped on the semi the last time because I didn't make it back still. So that's good. Anyway. <laughs> Bling. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Fuck yeah, I don't have to worry about e-breaking this old pig. There we go. All right, seeing a few, seeing a few. Oh, turn your old girl. She's Armstrong, boys. She's a freaking arm. God, that drives me nuts. <laughs> She's kind of got power steering, but you know how that goes. Whatever, I'll just go here. He can, he can line up. Combine driver can do that much, eh? <laughs> See, they always get mad the way I park, so fuck them. Fucking drive to where you want. I don't care. Anyway, I'm gonna go and uh, hop in this machine right here. And uh, I'll take over for him. And then he'll take this truck back loaded. And we got stand to fill and then probably another dump on the semi. Now we'll fill the two combines for the night and then I can take two loads right away to town in the morning. So good enough, seeing a few. Nice. Fucking right, Connor. Nice. Right con, right con, right con. Anyway, I'm gonna pick my swath here. First, we gotta kick her into gear. My uh, LED lights really aren't spread out very good. They're kind of all over the map. But anyways, we'll see what we can do here. It's good enough for now. There we go. what we can do. Nice light so that's I like that LED light like that. That's kinda nice. Nothing wrong with that. Just let her chew boys, let her chew. Slow the pickup speed down a little bit. There we go. Now we should be able to walk right over that little fucker right there. Everything goes good without plugging it. Lots of canola coming in. That's kind of nice. That's a weird color when a guy looks at that shit. Holy mother. There, go like this. Oh boy, she's just a porn in there. Nice. Not today, Connor. Not today, buddy. He will never keep up with this one. Not a hope in hell. I just set her and forget her. <laughs> oh, I take my hat off. Let my hair dry. All my hair. There we go, boys. Nice. Give her shit, Con. Give her shit, Connor. It seems like if he doesn't push that one too, too hard, it actually makes a pretty decent sample, so. Anyway, we'll just leave her at that. See, uh, see how she goes. It seems to be running all right, so we'll let him pluck away, and we'll just keep on eating here. There we go. That's a nice straight line too. I like that. Okay, just about as wide as the old pickup. That's pretty good. This uh, 
this decal stuff here this year it wasn't uh wasn't overly tall but it sure pushed out lots as you can see there's lots of stubble there like i mean not high but lots of plant lots of plant population that's what you want when you're growing growing a rapeseed so anyway i'll get you some more footage i'm going to keep giving her here so we'll uh talk to you in a few here he comes, hot on the trail. Hot on the old trail. That little bugger actually does pretty good, that little combine. Well, it's not little, but same as this one, but this one's cranked up. And I can't get a good sample of that whenever we uh, push it too hard, so that's all right. Like I said, I'll just let him let them chew away. I told them what RPM to run the rotor down to. And good enough. Let's see if we get any action from the little fucker. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> that means hello in light language. So anyway, I don't know what the heck. I'm gonna do a live stream here, but my uh, battery's just about dead so I guess I'll just uh, put it in this video here and then maybe tomorrow when I get ripping again I'll do a live stream so we'll see how things go but uh, anyway sounds good see you in a bit guys let's hear them Plugger. Well, boys, there we go. Carter just took off with the truck. I couldn't even get unloaded, so that's kind of fucking dumb, but whatever. I guess that's it for tonight. So, uh, everybody keep a tight ass, and we'll see you in the morning. So, good enough. See you in a few hours. Good, good, good. Well, just got everything done in the yard, dumped all the trucks, took a load of town, serviced the combines, went and got cows a load of water. Now that's a pain in the butt this time of year. So I think uh, maybe after we get the canola done here, we might move some cows home. Because we don't really have time to haul water and we need the trailer to haul bales too. So then we can have a uh, haul with two trailers. But anyway, what we are going to do we got from here over to the fence but it's all cut on the angle so it's really hard to tell how much is left but anyways I hope this uh, combine still set good from last night I guess we'll have to see we might have to play around a little bit but uh, stop moving anyway I guess we'll figure it out when uh, when we uh, get there so that's on a little off. I got my uh, grain loss monitor wires on the back are pretty much shot. So that's why I just shut it off. But anyway, I will uh, be back to you here in a few. I'll get you some good footage of maybe both of us giving her here. So we'll see how things go. I'll just leave it here for a little while. There we go. Should be good, I think. Everything holds together. We should get this piece done today. And, uh... And then we'll get on to the, uh, maybe try the other canola, which is over there. 
like I showed you there yesterday, so. I don't know if it'll be ready though. I haven't really had it down that long. So I guess I'll have to uh, do a test on it. I'm sure the moisture won't be high, but I mean, the green count might be, so we'll have to uh, give it a try here in a little bit, so. Ah, oh, come on, camera. Not running in too bad. We, uh, so basically what we did is we made a little bit of a, a dirtier sample in the canola. Just put a little bit more pods in. Opened that bottom sieve up so the air could get through a little bit. And, uh, I don't know, knock on wood, we haven't had any trouble yet, so. Anyway. Well, boys. There we go. Got this quarter done. So I guess that'll be it for the Vidya. Ashley's over there doing the last two strips and I just cut this a uh, week ago so I'm gonna rip in there and give it a shot anyways. And uh, see where we're at with it. So I guess, thanks for watching. Go check out my live stream. Maybe I can get Amanda to put it up here and then uh, you guys can watch it if you want. But anyways, I don't really want to drive across these swaths, so I'm going to have to fire up here and pick some more of this up, I guess, and uh, get going on the next quarter. So this will be another vidya. This stuff here we're going to start is uh, Invigor 233P. It's straight cut variety. So, subscribe if you haven't. Leave her comments down below and uh, give us a thumbs up. So, harvest is still going, we got quite a bit to go yet. So, anyway, we will uh, see you in the next one. Like I said, go check out the old uh, live stream there. So, thanks guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.